Right. Back out in back. This is testing with Andy Tuesday. So because I'm bored, I just thought I've had this jet boil mini more Christ, for over a year now. So I think it's a fair point to give a, a good little review of it and do a little boil test to see how different it is. That's the expensive pot. This is the old original Alpkit brew pot. That sometimes comes off, the condenser comes off, but I just shoved it back on like and twisted it and it stayed on. That's God, that must be like four or five year old that. Right, so everybody who wants to buy uh, a cooking pot and you don't want to spend that sort of money, it's all right, these things, they're meant to come off. You don't want to spend the, the jet boil many more kind of money. I'm going to show you a comparison for this little brew pot because to be fair, I am a bloody gear snob. I just bought this because it was cheap. It was on offer one time. Um, I think it was on Amazon. I can't remember. I really can't remember where I got it from. But it was only 70 quid. Only. A lot of money really when you think about it. So what I'm going to do is, I'll uh, I'll show you the difference in weight between the two. So let's say for fairness, right? I mean that gas goes in there. The gas goes in there. And oh yeah, I've got the pocket rocket stove for that. And this is going to use this stove with the. Uh, with the proper burner on the bottom. There's a couple of things I don't like about this. All right, so that's going to be on there with the gas, same gas. And I'll put the pocket rocket on there. And we'll do a comparison because the pocket rockets are fast burning and boil. Isn't that very, very common? I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can pick them up for about 20, 30 quid, I'm not sure. I got that second hand on eBay, 17 quid, and it works perfect, it's it's mint. You just pull it out like that, you know what I mean? Sit your pot on it. Right, so, the weight, the weight of the jet boat mini more, right? So what you do is you put that inside, say for example, this is for you, um, if you take a frying pan, you put that on there, and you just sit your pan on, you don't bother with the pot, you sit your pan on, which is a good feature of that. It's a good feature of the uh, mini more that you can use a, a frying pan on it. And the simmer is good for uh, cooking. But it's like every every stove I've heard tends to concentrate the, the heat from the middle into the middle of the pot. It doesn't sort of spread it out like, like on a frying pan. It does on that. On a frying pan, it sort of like concentrates the heat in this area. So the middle of your pan tends to get a bit, um, to get a little bit burnt, you know. I mean, that might just be me doing it wrong, I don't know. That's what I found though. Obviously that's gonna be the same because that's just concentrated heat. But this is just for boiling water. This is just for your boiling your water test. Don't worry about frying pans or anything. Right, so you can take your brew pot, empty. 186 grams empty. I can't zoom in, so you'll have to trust us on that. 186 grams there, empty. That, 209 grams. All right, so don't forget, you have to carry that with it. And if you carry the burner with that, and then that goes up to 339 grams. And then that is 274. Put the lids on. All adds weight, like 307 grams with the lid on. And 397 with that lid on. So you can see there is, there is a difference in weight, but you know, I'm not a lightweight camper. And to me, 
doesn't matter about that. So what I'll do is I'll set these up and then we'll put we'll boil half a pint of water and we'll put the timer on. Right. So what I've done is there's a pint of water in there and there's a pint of water in that one. So we're gonna set them away. Oh burn catastrophe. I'll take that off and I'll light this just for <laughs> mad these potter on this way. Right, so we'll put the legs on. You know I'm gonna I'm gonna blow myself up here. Alright. We'll take it off. And we'll get them on. Put it on. Put it on. And we're off. See it moving around, that's a proper full on rolling boiler. One minute 34. Yeah, it's up full, it's up full, the gas is the same, and that's still going. This course will stop the timer. One minute 34 for that. Whew! It's absolutely boiling in here. That was terrifying, I couldn't see that behind. I touched the um I touched the edge of the stove, burnt my finger there, like. Right, there you go. That's boiling now. Didn't need the timer, it was just the first one to boil. So, the brew pot and the pocket rocket boiled in 1 minute 34 seconds. 1 minute 34. That one there, that must have been at least another minute. So, you know. I'll just check my notes. Um, yeah. So that's the brew pot and the jet boil. I'll just get some prices up. So what I found is, right, the jet boil mini more, one litre cooking system, which is what that is, 134.99. It's the cheapest, or oh, 137, 137 on Amazon. Micro more. They used 99.99 on eBay. Even that's too much. So, I opened another one. Alp kit don't seem to make the brew pot on its own anymore. I'll take that off. Here. I could have a cup of tea. They've got the brew kit for forty four ninety nine, which, if you look, comes with the this stove on it, the brew kit. So that might be worth getting. Forty four ninety nine. Let's see if you can get it. Like they never have any stock, do they? Hmm. Can't believe they don't do the brew kit. 
the brew pot. Anyway, so that's that. So, thoughts. A brew pot I've had for four or five years maybe. If you look at my old videos, I used to use that. And with that condenser on the bottom, it boils water. I mean, that's a pint of water in a minute now. Albeit it was a little bit longer. This is a lot more versatile. I mean, you can, I don't know though, is it? Whatever you can do in there, you can do in there. It's just a flash name, isn't it? Sometimes it gets stuck on the, uh, it's sometimes hard to get off there. I mean, I did that, I did that spoof video the other day when I pretended to spill it, but I have actually done that before. So, to sum up, would I recommend the Jet Boil Mini more? If you've got money to burn and you want to, uh, you know, you want to have a, a Jet Boil really, then yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a bit overpriced. The quality is great. The quality of this and everything, you know, the gas comes up great and the igniter's never let me down yet. But uh, that brew, the brew kit will have that on. I don't know if it's got the ignition, but it will have it on. It'll have the, the, uh, it's got this bit on. It's got the burner on. So for the brew kit, you get that for 45 quid. I'll leave it to you to decide, but that's my opinion. Testing with Andy Tuesday. Good?